and she loves to run on the beach and Patrick takes her twice a day on the beach early in the morning and in the evening and she was running early evening along the beach and Patrick saw her eating something and when he got to her she'd got a big fisherman's line hanging from her mouth and whatever she'd eaten she'd swallowed that's right, Maggie. So he was rushed to emergency. Thought it might have had a hook on the end. Yes, Thought it might he... have been a hook in her tummy. Yes, yeah, so he didn't touch it. So he was rushed to emergency where they gave her an X-ray. And what else did they do? Uh, they gave her an X-ray and they saw that they there was no hook on the line. On the line. So then they were able to give her a um, an injection which made her throw up. And, then, and she brought everything and up And she brought there. everything up then, yeah. The whole line. The whole line, it all came up, thankfully. Yes. And then she was all right. So it was a bit worrying. It's yes. just one of those things, I mean, you can just, you know, Three just take, your eye, take happen. your eye off them and then suddenly, and then because she knows I don't like her eating stuff on the beach. So of course, if I see her with something in her mouth, I run over to her to get it off and then she swallows the Yeah, she swallows it She quick. swallows it quickly. So you can't Cheeky go. little bleeder. Yeah, she, she, she's looking the other way. Yeah. She doesn't wish to know about <laughs> this particular thing, Maggie. Yeah. Anyway, that was worrying and another freaky accident. Freaky accident, We yeah. have to watch them all the time. And another thing, make sure that when this hot weather comes that you don't, by mistake, leave them out because they can die of heat stroke. And I've had two clients that were heartbroken. One man had let his five pugs out and thought they were all back in. He took a nap and he came and one of them was outside in 90 degrees. And the, the dog died and it was heartbreaking. So we always have to be pretty aware of what our dogs are doing. Just keep your eye on them. Make sure you don't give them food and water and let them run in the yard until a good hour, hour and a half afterwards if you're going to walk them or they're going to run together in the yard. And just have, you know, make sure with the hot weather that your dogs are in. You know, I get mine in, they go out in the yard and they bark to come in and I let them in. And count heads if you've got a lot of dogs because I find that's the best way to do it. Just count their heads and you go, you've got five dogs or six dogs you know that they're all in. And that's a good way of doing it with your kitties too. Anyway, and then the beach, we didn't expect that to happen. So things like that can always happen. And then I had another tragedy last week with one of my clients and she was heartbroken and she was sobbing so much that she couldn't talk. And she had had her little cat outside and it just stayed in the front yard. And her husband came home and she was so excited, she said, because he was home. And she, they had just got some chickens and they'd just laid eggs and she was so excited they were the first fresh eggs they'd had. And then she heard a meowing and she thought, I don't recognize that meow, what's meowing? And she didn't take a lot of notice. And then she went into the garage 20 minutes later and her cat was dead. And her husband didn't realize it, but he'd run over the cat and it, the cat had died and it was the meowing that she didn't recognize because it was a different meowing and she was heartbroken and blamed herself. So, you know, these accidents happen and we just have to be aware all the time of our animals behind the car, under the car, if they're around. It's always good to check because once the, an accident like that happens, we really never, never get over it. Never. It's always with us. So they need to be watched all the time. Not when you're sleeping though. What do you say about that, Maggie? Not when you're sleeping, eh? <laughs>